hey guys welcome back welcome to a new video hope you're having a good so this is a video i do every month where we look at what's new in beauty in primark now i do film a primark haul video which i'm going to link above i post that every month on my channel i've done it for such a long time that i really just wanted to change it up and do something slightly different and I never really look at beauty in Primark very often and I thought, you know what, there's a great opportunity to try some stuff and I know they've got so many good things. So, last month we reviewed some Charlotte Tilbury dupes and this month we're going to review some Chanel and Benefit dupes. Yes, the bronzers are back girls, let's check it out. Just launched some of their summer collections, so they've got some stick bronzers, cream whipped bronzers, bronzing powders, highlighters and primers. If you love a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of sparkle. Is anyone getting hula vibes from this? Literally, it's like hula. So they have some new concealers, lots of different colours. Twister lip balm. Now that is a tasty treat. These bath bombs are so cute. They're like little lollipops or giant lollipops. Okay, they have Olaplex dupes. I mean, really? Wow. So they have lots of new hair masks. These come in at one pound. They definitely had a little bit of a glow up happening in Primark when I went in. They really, really had a nice little selection of new products. Some things I really wanted to get, but I just couldn't afford. So, you know, hold on your hats next month. We'll definitely be looking at that. Um, especially with those Olaplex dupes. They looked so good. Um, so I did pick up two products this month. They were a little bit more expensive than what I picked up last month. And I'm only ever going to do like a couple of different products. because I want to review them. I want to talk about them. I want to try them. So these are the two that I grabbed and straight away yes they are both bronzers this could be bad guys i am not a bronzing queen let's be honest i'm pale as anything um but i do wear bronzer i wear a mac bronzer and i wear it all the time it's actually a foundation and i use it as a bronzer because it is like the perfect shade that being said it hasn't stopped me in the past from dipping my toes in and trying lots of different other bronzers ones which are quite expensive okay so let's start off with yes the cream bronzer so this is the primark version it comes in at four pound fifty and of course it is a dupe for the chanel one i'm really fortunate i got the chanel one so just from looking at them i can definitely tell that the chanel one is a little bit more kind of like warm tone this one may be a little bit more cool toned but let's watch them and see so this is the chanel one and this is the primark one now the chanel one is a lot more of a drier formula it's a lot more sort of like a whipped mousse kind of like consistency this one is a lot more oily like a little's gonna go a long way and yeah it does feel quite oily so with the bron with the chanel one i don't feel like you'd need to use a powder to set it but with this one a hundred percent now the chanel bronzer comes in about 45 to 46 pounds depending on where you purchase it i mean sometimes it's on offer which is great i've only ever bought it once i have to admit because i love the idea of a cream bronzer but i've never really been able to get them to work for me so i'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and just dip, dip that in here now with this one you don't need a lot so a little does go a long way and i'm just going to kind of do like the hairline it's really buildable oh my gosh it smells so the chanel one smells so nice as well so you kind of just see it's just a little bit buildable so yeah you can see quite natural but really really nice finish Moving on to the very slippy, oily Primark one. Um, so this one is a little bit more cool toned. I don't know how this is gonna go. So we're just gonna, the same amount. 
and just see how this lands. I'm actually doing filming today, so if this goes hideously wrong, you'll be able to tell on all my videos for the next couple of days. Oh wow, that has got a lot. So that's got a lot more coverage. You can kind of tell straight away that it's 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 coming out very similar toned, but it's a little bit more yellowy. Let's have a little look on the cheeks but it is more like yeah if you wanted a more coverage like more bronzy like a really glow like a really big glow up you could definitely use this but yeah as you can see it does look quite different in color this one's definitely you can see more of like pink tones through it whereas this one just kind of like blots out a lot of the pink tones because it's quite yellow toned okay i'm just going to even them up a little bit because i am working today i do feel like the primark one would make a really good like contour as well like if you're looking for a product to contour with um it would make a really good contour Okay, so if you do like a more glowy bronzer, I definitely would say the Primark one looks really nice. Um, you do need to powder it though, it is a little bit oily. Um, obviously, if you are more of an oily person and you want more of a matte finish and you want something that's a bit buildable, this I wouldn't have said is buildable, um, this is definitely your jam. But obviously, the price difference, wowzers. Okay, so you've got the Primark one, which comes in at like £4.50, and this one that comes in at 45. The other thing I'd say about these is that the Primark one I definitely think is a little bit more easier to use than the Chanel one. I think the Chanel one, you know, you do have to have a really good quality brush. Moving on to powdered bronzers. So this is the PS Bronze Powder Bronzer infused with vitamin E and it includes a brush now the benefit one the hula bronzer last year i think it was last year or the year before they've stopped selling it with the brush and it was iconic you can buy brushes from benefit but they are super expensive for what they are i wouldn't bother if you have a little look in here you have a fake hula brush i mean that is pretty pretty cool so Hula Bronzer comes in at £26, the Primark version comes in at £3.50 and you do get the fake Hula brush. It kind of feels like it, but it also kind of feels quite quite good quality, like I'm quite impressed with that. So let's give it a go. So the only other bronzer that I have is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Medium Tan. This is like my perfect shade. It's a foundation, it's a powdered foundation that MAC bring out but it makes a really good bronzer if you're quite pale um, because you can match it to exactly your skin tone. So that is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So for the sake of this video, we are gonna use the little brush um, and I'm just gonna, oh my gosh, this is really powdery. Pop a little bit on the brush. It's very powdery. So yeah, literally I've just, tapped it in and i'm just gonna oh my gosh i'm really scared to do this okay it is quite orangey you can like really chisel out your jaw though with it couldn't you okay so that side actually blended a lot better because it was on a more matte finish Whereas it didn't sit quite as nicely um, on this side. You can tell it's gone a little bit like patchy here, um, which is a shame. But obviously it's that cream bronzer from Primark, which is quite oily. So yeah, it looks okay in the hairline. A little bit on the orange side, but that's what I expected because it is quite dark. Um, really nice blended on this side, I just need to go over it a little bit. And then this side, yeah, it, it's definitely having some issues with that other cream bronzer. I'm just gonna go in with a big round brush and just see if I can blend that out a little bit better. 
Okay, so I do like this. I think it is a nice bronzer. It definitely gives a nice healthy glow to the skin. If you're a little bit on the pale side, it might be a little bit hit and miss whether or not it's the right tone for you, but it is quite a quite a dark base, blendable, but if you've got a lot of cream products on underneath, you might get some lifting. So you just need to be really aware of that and use a really good fluffy brush to blend it out. So try not to maybe use the brush that it comes with. So powder or cream? Well, I personally prefer a powder bronzer. I feel like it helps set your makeup. It helps kind of like hold everything in place. It lasts longer um, and just feels a little bit more comfortable on the skin. Cream bronzers I think are great for summer if you're looking for that really nice kind of like sun-kissed natural finish. Um, but obviously this is quite oily. So I personally, if you had the choice in your Primark, which bronzer would you go for? I'd probably go for the Hoola dupe over the Chanel dupe. But that is up to you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to carry on getting ready for the day. I feel like my face looks so much better with bronzer on. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all next time. Bye guys. Thank you.